Hey everybody, Johnny B. Good here. Good morning, greetings. Today is Monday. Uh, the time here is 10.07. Okay, um, I think it's safe to uh, say what's been happening. Yesterday, I tried to deliver a load. The receiver uh, refused it because it was showing that the product was above the temperature. It was set at 26 degrees and it was showing on the box temp recorder to be above, uh, I think it was 35 degrees for eight hours. Now this is the kind of product that uh, you don't want to mess with. A lot of people can get sick or die if, uh, I mean, it's a food product, you don't want to mess with that. So rightfully so, the, uh, the receiver rejected the load and uh, to the, uh, to the knowledge and wisdom of my boss and the broker, they sent me to this carrier dealer here. Because this unit is a carrier uh, unit. And uh, they had them download the, uh, the actual temperature on the reefer itself. It turns out that these reefer units has a temp recorder like a block box on uh, an airplane. It shows months, six months, I think, of temperature and when it was turned off, when it was defrosting, all that information in there and and uh, it was showing uh, the graph, the graph that was downloaded in the computer, it was showing constant 25 or 26 degrees all the time. There's a little bit of a spike here and there a few times for defrosting uh, purposes, but most of the time the uh, the load, the temperature was right on the money. So safe to say that I would, I would gladly take this load home and feed it to my family and myself and everyone else, and because uh, it's totally safe. I mean, that's you know. As I said, this is kind of a load of chicken, uh, yeah, a load that you don't want to mess with. And but after seeing that graph, it is now proven that the temperature box temperature recorder is way, way off. And so we're talking hundred thousand dollar load here, man. So, um, so but now we're still dealing with the broker trying to convince the shipper that uh, this load is fine, everything is good, and so now the shipper has to call a carrier over here to investigate and satisfy their, um, you know, their uh, questions and their hearts that uh, this load is safe. And so we're waiting on, we're doing the waiting game and investigations and all that stuff. So, yeah. Um, right now, I still don't have any words what to do with it or where to go. I'm hoping that um, this can all be resolved and it will all be right back to schedule or right back to delivery the same customer. Uh, so... But as I said, everybody is doing their own investigation and all that stuff. For the meantime, I would like to say a happy birthday to... Uh, boy, where is he? A huge fan of yours, his name. I just had it here. Happy birthday. Okay, Christopher Sun Yun Kim sent a message on Facebook that says, Can you do me a huge favor? My friend is a huge fan of yours. He is a trucker too. He, it's, it's his birthday today. He'll be 32. If you can wish him a happy birthday on your text message. I don't know. Uh, I don't know what happened to it. Um, Christopher, I, I thought you sent me a name. 
I don't know where it is. Anyway, I'll have to get back to you on that, Christopher. All right, peace. Okay, so we're back, and uh, happy birthday to Greg Tuttle. I hope I pronounced that properly. T-U-T-T-L-E, Greg Tuttle. And uh, Greg, happy birthday, and thank you for being a subscriber to my channel, and uh, hope you have a blessed birthday. Your name actually reminds me of a, uh, a TV show, MASH, there they did, uh, they did a uh, episode of MASH, of, of um, Hawkeye made up of, what is it, a, a Captain Tuttle, <laughs> and uh, that was, uh, that was kind of a funny episode, but I'm sure many of you probably remember that episode, Captain Tuttle, and even Colonel Blake was crying because <laughs> anyway happy birthday we'll see you later peace hey everybody okay latest development is I'm back at the customer and they are willing to take it in fact I am just waiting for a door for them to assign me and they will unload me uh, shortly hopefully shortly I have now been dealing with this for, I don't know, 27 hours and um, I'm hoping that they will compensate me for this. It's, if not, <laughs> that's the bad part about being a truck driver. Usually they don't, uh, they don't do anything. So the time that you're not driving is the time you don't get paid. Yeah, it seems to be a lot of that, but anyway, I'll keep you guys posted a little later. Peace.